Good morning, Eagle Warrior Nation. How are we doing? So we are here in lovely Cumberland, and we're going to do what's called bands, balls, or balls, bands, and bricks. Yay. I know. Sounds perverted. It's not. So here we got, what do we got? We got some cinder blocks. We've got a medicine ball. We've got a patio brick, which is 30 pounds. Yay. We've got our bands that are adjustable, which I take on the road. We've got an agility ladder for warm up. If you don't have an agility ladder, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So you get some dust in me from carrying the uh, bricks. So this is functional strength and at its best, okay? This is a free class. This is being recorded. You can review this. You need to download my app. I will put the link up on Facebook and Instagram so people can watch it. It will be in our video section, our community section, this workout, all right? And I'll be doing this on a regular basis. And as a special announcement, two special announcements, okay? Number one. We have eight people joining the team for our virtual firm current studio. One of them is extremely important. Marcus, the Irish hand grenade Davis. Yes, Marcus Davis is going to be teaching for me through the company, through our app on a regular basis weekly. How do you like that? We've got Ben Monair over in Okinawa. We've got Luis and Marie Anis, Alexandra Anis in Connecticut. We've got Dan Samet up in Canada. We've got eight trainers coming on board, eight coaches coming on board, and me. Well, there's going to be a plethora of classes, okay? Imagine that Marcus Davis is going to be teaching, okay? He's going to be teaching. So without further ado, we're going to get going. Check out our memberships, okay? Drop-ins are $25. Not a bad deal. Unlimited, $129 for the month. You're going to get up to 24 classes once I'm finished posting everything. Our community page, all the free videos, you name it, from workouts to recipes to Coffee with Coach, our articles, my 300 articles, all up there, okay? And other content's going to be added. And we're going to have a variety of different classes going forward, all right? Sound good? So without further ado, let's cut the crap. And let's get rolling, all right? Sorry for the no, the no music right now. I will add music next week because, unfortunately, I just bought an iPod. I didn't even know they existed, and I didn't charge it. Oh, well, so I'll just sing. So you notice our fun toys. Let's warm up. Movement prep. Everybody remembers this, right? No, I might change the angle here. Hopefully this will record the way I want to. Bear with me. I'm new at this. There we go. Okay. Movement prep. Lean forward, push back. Lean forward, push back. A couple cracks, a couple pops. Okay, next one. Backwards lunge to a reach over. Stretch it out. Backwards lunge to a reach over. Over, O-V-A-H. Laterals. Okay, just loosening up the hips. Let's make some more space here. I don't think my sneakers are loud enough to you. I don't think so. Laterals. There we go, laterals. Let's go. Now, basically an inverted hamstring or basically an airplane pose. Yes, I'm testing your balance. B A L A N C E balance. Yay. See, even me. I fall down. Who cares? Fall down seven times, get up eight. Ali. Go. Excellent. Drop lunge. Excellent. Drop lunge. Good. Remember, if you don't have a ladder, it's okay. With my Boston X. Drop lunge. Drop lunge. Good. All right, let's move the ladder a little bit closer. So everybody can see. We're going to do some new agility drills and some old agility drills. If you don't have a line, of guess what? Chalk in the driveway or make it till you make it. All right. Here we go. Two feet in. Just going forward. Okay. Two feet in. Locomotion is important. Two feet in. Three planes of motion. Forward, line, or rotational. Notice how we're going forward. Two feet in. 30 seconds to a minute. This is your warm up. Two feet in. Two feet, two feet in. Two feet in. 
Excellent. Keep it going. Two feet in. All right, next one. Now we're going to go lateral plane. Most injuries happen where? Laterally, rotationally, right? They do. So you got to practice that. Modified hopscotch. Modified hopscotch. Two in, two out. Turn around. Modified hopscotch. Excellent. Keep it going. Chin up. Now you want to test yourself, go backwards with it. Because when you take your sight out of it, you increase neural demand. Forward. Remember, you don't have a ladder, don't worry about it. But it is portable. Backwards. Look for our Road Warrior workout. That's coming up next. Road Warrior workout. Rubber and steel. Don't get any SNM, SNM in that. Rubber and steel. Basically dumbbells, kettlebells, and bands. Crossovers. That's it. Crossovers. MMA Warrior workout. MMA fighter fit. Gas in the tank, what I'm well known for. Don't take that the wrong way. The kettlebell crusher. That's another one we're coming out with. Cross it over. Now we're in the rotational plane. Rotational plane. Okay. Real simple. Yeah, your heart rate's going up. Getting a little bit of the sweat going. Getting a little moist. Cross it over. Go ahead. Take a little breather. Hydrate is important. Don't hesitate to hydrate. That rhymes. Ha! Hesitate to hydrate. All right. Don't like when the shoes come untied. Yeah. Are they loud enough? I don't think so. Okay. Two feet in, two feet out. This is designed. When you go right, you lead right. When you go left, you lead left. In and out. Okay? Very important in any athletics. So when you look at the eight elements of fitness, what do we do every day? Push, pull, level change, locomotion. So basically what you're doing, instead of the eye-hand coordination, eye-foot. As a great coach, Peter Welch would say, Smart feet, smart fighter. Dumb feet, dumb fighter. You're educating your feet, educating those reactions. Doesn't matter if you're eight or 88. I've had clients with Parkinson's doing the latter. No joke. Because we can do this. He's going. And that's challenging him. Get it? Perception is your reality. Okay. Two in, two out. Back the other way. If you want to make it a little more difficult, change sides. Change sides. On the fly, change sides. Change sides. Excellent. Shake it out. Double tap. Icky shuffle. Remember, you do not need a ladder. Just do the motions. Okay, turn around. Go back the other way. Double tap. Again, you want to make it more challenging, central nervous system, backward. Go backwards. Why not? You'll notice these are low impact activity because I am on concrete. No smart for playing basketball. I hope you join me earlier for my Eagle Warrior Reset Mechanics, Primal Reset Mechanics. We will be doing that again Monday. Is it Monday? Excuse me, Tuesday. Tuesday. I might do it Monday too. You know what? I will do it Monday. We wish. It's okay if you got to go slower on the back. All right, slaloms. Here we go. Land light. Back down. Land light. Excellent. Back down. Rest. Shake it out. Yeah, your feet will get tired. Now we're going to go a little bit more MMA specific. This is right out of the Mark Delagrati, crew Mark Delagrati's playbook for training fighters, okay? Doesn't have to look perfect. One foot in the box, whatever lead you go with. I punch right, I can fight either way, but I punch usually right, I'm a righty. My left's gonna go in first, right? Because I want my power hand back in, back here. I'm gonna step forward. 
jab, 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 jab. And because I fight both sides, now I'm going to go southpaw. Jab, jab. See how I pull back? I'm gaining momentum on my punch. Okay, now I'll go to the other side. Jab, jab. See, I'm cranking in. I'm opening my chest up, opening my chest up, opening my chest up, opening my chest up. I go back down. Crank it out. Crank it out. See that snap? I'm just slight pull. Good. Shake it out. Now, leaping hook. This is a very famous shot. People will get an MMA. And again, you don't have to do MMA to get this. All right? It's good explosive power. So I'm going to load, skip a box. Load, skip a box. Load, skip a box. I'm literally going to make up that distance and, and get somebody. I can also uppercut. So I'm going to do the uppercut. Load. Bang. This is great on this side. Bang. They don't even see it coming. Bang. Everybody needs explosive power. Right? You can't get off the toilet when you're 88 unless you have some explosive power. You can't get out of a chair. Load and go. Boom. Load. Bang. Low, boom. other side, low, bang. low, boom. low, boom. okay, next one we call sit your tongue gallop, it's a gallop, it's a way of getting out of, you know, getting out of a range of an opponent, click your heels, bang, bang, click your heels, bang, bang, click your heels, bang, bang, other way, click your heels, bang, bang, click your heels, Click your heels, bang, bang. This way now, ready? Click your heels, bang, bang. Click your heels, bang. Click your heels, bang, bang. All the way, southpaw. Click your heels, click your heels, click your heels, boom, boom. Shake it out a little bit, get a drink if you need it. Now, lateral step over the punch. This is great if opponents here, you step across them. Literally, you step over, bang, right in the back of the head, okay? Footwork is key to everything. Even in my self-defense classes, I push it. Why? It'll get you out of danger. I can make up distance real easy. Any way I want, okay? Make sense? So, double tap. Notice how I'm blade at my body. Double tap, double tap. Double tap, double tap. Oh, fun part is to go backwards. Double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap, bang, bang, double tap, bang, bang, double tap, bang, bang, double tap, bang, double tap, bang, bang, double tap, bang, bang. Okay, that's your ladder drills. Let's get rid of the ladder with my Boston accent. There goes the ladder, getting hot. All right, I've got a patio brick. You can use a little brick. A little brick's above four pounds. Doesn't matter. Use anything you want. Use a med ball. We're gonna do the same exercises that we do with a med ball. We're gonna do with the brick, okay? So this is about a 30 pound patio brick. It's a dollar 40, that's it. Okay, twists, all core work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Wood choppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, really good for your grip. Diagonals. One. Two, three, four, five, Oof, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a killer. Big circles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four and five. Be careful you don't drop them. They do break like that. Whew. Shake it out. 
That's a tough one. All right. Whew. First band exercise, okay? Take a breather. Let it cool down a little bit. We're going to go right into band twists. One, two, all core work. Three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. They adjust so on the fly. So now, squat and row. Squat down, row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take a little breather. That's excellent for the legs. It's a bimotor skill. I'm gonna move our camera over here so you get a better angle. Yes, I'm my own camera guy too. So people like Keith Foster don't, don't cry because he can't see everything. Okay. Yeah, much better. All right. Now, you notice what we did? Rotation, right? We did a pull, we did a, a pull and a squat, a level change. Now we're gonna do locomotion, locomotion and a press. So what you're doing is combining motions, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, best one, 10. So you're combining elements. Remember the eight elements of fitness, push, pull, level change, rotation, locomotion, balance, static strength, and flexibility. We're combining everything. So we're doing what's called a four by four in this, okay? Four exercises nonstop. So now I've got a lower band hooked up. If you want to lower your other band, that's fine. Do what you can. Now I'm going to go uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice the rotation. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a break. Ooh, that's your first cycle. First cycle. Pat yourself on the back. Yeah, your heart rate's up. I get it. I get it completely. Completely. Take a breather. Okay, let's get right back into it. Okay, now I'm gonna go with ball exercises. One-legged deadlift, okay? This is about a 20-pound sand-filled ball. You can hold on to both, you know, a double medicine ball if you want. You can use your brick. You can go body weight, doesn't matter. Whatever you wanna do. This is a very important exercise for the lower back and glute medius, and not to mention your entire leg. One, two, three. Four, five, switch sides. We're sticking to 10 reps today, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now, because I've got a handle, okay, I'm going to do a kettlebell swing. You can do a swing with no weight. Or you can do a swing with two hands holding the kettle, uh, holding the medicine ball. You want to snap the hips, okay? Five reps. One, two, excellent for the hamstrings and hip hinge. Three, four, five. Switch. Ooh, right there. One, two, three, four, and five. That's number two. Number three. Here we go. Squat, curl, and press. One. Two, or modified snatch. Three, four, five. Switch sides. Again, five more. One, two, three, four. And five. Good. Last one, best one, right? Now, what we call shoulder squares. Make a box, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Put it down. Make sure it doesn't bounce on you. Oof, get a drink. Yeah, see, I'm sweating. 
bands, balls, and bricks. All right, we've done our bricks, we've done our bands, we've done our ball, back to bricks again. Yeah, I don't take a long of a rest. Okay, grab your four pound bricks, grab your cinder blocks. They're about 17 pounds a piece, okay? So we grab our cinder blocks. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Bent over rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Definitely tough. Uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Whew. That was tough. Put them down. This one's a tough one. Whew. Okay. Especially with the bricks. Renegade Rose. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Last one, best one. Good. We got one more, right? One more. Here we go. Rotational shoulder press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That brick, man, what a grip. You'll notice I rotated, so not only am I doing a pressing motion, I'm using my core. Okay, take a minute break, or less. I'm not timing anything. Take a breather. So you can see, we got minimal equipment and we're getting a workout in, right? We're getting a workout in. Whew. That was good stuff. Okay. Back to our bands, right? Back to our bands. Back to our bands. Move the bricks. So, now we're gonna do smackdowns, pulling motion. One, two, try to get the rubber to touch your shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Turn around the other four way. Punches on one, one leg. Pressing motion. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Next one. Another twist. Why not? Actually, let's do an isometric. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. You pick the low band, adjust it if you want. Crazy pulls, great for the core, great for mental toughness, great for shoulder stability and the pulling muscles. One, two, three, four, mix up the angle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see the shoulder stability. Here we go, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead. There's our four by four. Take another break. Give yourself a hats off, right? You got up, you're doing it. That's the whole point. So again, I'm gonna tell you, we've got eight instructors joining the team. My Berman Kearns virtual studio, one of which is the Irish hand grenade UFC veteran Marcus Daniels. He's one of my master coaches. He has joined the team. He will start teaching next week, okay? You get people in Ireland, England, Canada, Okinawa, Spain, you name it. We've got eight to nine instructors joining the team as of next week. Full schedule, besides me, I'm gonna have you pick from around the globe. Sound good? Great. We'll be adding more classes. Bands, balls, and bricks is gonna be one of mine. Some of my other team, we're gonna add a mobility class. You name it, we're doing it, okay? The Kettlebell Crusher, taught by me and hopefully Brian Fernie. Gotta get him on the phone in Scotland. All right, we're taking our rest, we're taking our break. Now we're back to what? Med ball work, great. Now, I like doing at least two sets of one-legged deadlifts, at least, if not three. 
I just think they're very important. So let's do another set. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. We'll change sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. Now, one legged bent over row and one arm contralateral. Okay. Opposite sides. Okay. Anytime I cross the body, it's contralateral. Activate more of my core. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And because I like so much stability work, about a one legged deadlift to press. One. With the sand in this ball, it ain't easy. Two, three, four, five. Oof, that's a tough one. Other side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, last one, best one. Squat toss, these are awful. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take a break. Whew. How many sets is that? I don't know. I lost count. Take a minute off, 30 seconds, whatever we decide to do. So we've done our bands again, we've done our balls again. Now we gotta go back to bricks. Why not? Why the hell not? Couple deep breaths. And you know, and pat yourself in the back. You get, you get to do this today. You get to work out today. Some people can't, right? Some people die in the hospital bed, dying of COVID and other things, right? Dying. My best friend's mother just died over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay? She was pretty much down and out for four days, going on, well, actually more like 12 days. And then finally they had to make the decision. Okay? So you get to do this today. Okay? You can, you can complain all you want, stop complaining, start training. You can blame all the other bullshit or you can get off your ass and start training. Believe me, I get it. I'm in an industry that got crushed, you know, for the past, I'm in the service business, the whole nine yards, we're all struggling. We're all struggling. So let's get through this together. Let's get through this together. Got it? Meet me together. Got it? Pick up your brick, remember, doesn't matter the size. Patio bricks, cinder block, little light bricks, I don't care, don't matter. Okay, I'm gonna grab this brick. I'm gonna do a bent over row. Remember, Berman Crunch, we do four times the amount of back work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, why do we do that? Because I don't feel like looking like a gorilla and having slumped over shoulders. Now, I'm gonna try it one leg. One, two, three, four. Five, other side. One, two, three, four, five. And why not throw in another twist? You can never have enough core work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's an awful one. Great for shoulder stability, core, and legs. Don't drop it on your head, obviously. Lunges. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Last one, best one. Ten. Let's put that down. Take a breather. See that? You've been going for over 30 minutes and didn't even know it. 30 minutes, didn't even know it. Walk it off. Breathe. Relax, get some water. I've been working on perspective and perception this past week. 
the way you perceive things is the way they are. So everybody's nervous about COVID. People can't get product in, blah, blah, blah. It's all fear. Do you want to live in love or do you want to live in fear? Which one do you want? As Dr. Wayne Dye would say, I'd rather live in love, right? You can be cautious. You can be pragmatic. And you can't sit there and wonder all the time. It's like when, I, when you're flying, if you get on a flight and expect it to be bumpy, okay? And what if it is bumpy? What are you going to do? You can freak out. Is it going to help? No. And believe me, everybody has their times. I have my times. You start freaking out about business, financing, everything. It all on your kids. It all unravels. And the, the hardest thing to do is hit pause and really look at what's going on. Like, I look at this beautiful morning. I've been out here since 7. I've been up since 4.30. I'm like, you know what? It's a great day. And even if it was raining, it'd still be a great day because I get to train new people. All right. We're back to bands, right? We're back to bands. Rubber band, man. I wish I was playing that. Okay, now, low angle, adjust your band, core, diagonal chops. One, two, three, four, five, other side. One, two, three, four, five, good. In MMA, we call this pummeling. This is isometric squat and really bicep and shoulder work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eight, nine, twenty. Oof, that's a burner. Now squat and curl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, best one. Good. Let's go back to a push, uh, a push motion. Okay. Now, chest flying a lunge. Chest flying a lunge. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. What? Best one. Ten. Next one. Take a break. Good stuff. Pat yourself on the back. You're doing it. And if you're not doing it now, you can review it later. Do it later. Okay? What do we got for equipment here? Don't tell me you can't work out. Don't tell me you don't have a rubber band. <clears throat> I'm, I see them selling rubber bands at CVS and Walgreens. I see them selling fitness equipment now in Best Buy. People want equipment. They have it at home. And if you don't, bricks. Anything you can do with a med ball, you can do with a band. Anything you can do with a med ball, you can do with a brick. Real simple. Do you need a ladder? No. Use chalk. Use duct tape. Put it on the ground. Doesn't matter. Take a breather. Now that was our band circuit. Now we're going back to ball. Going back to ball. Why not? Take a breather. Here we go. You know I like one leg of deadlifts. I got to do more. Because that SI joint is extremely important. That glute medius. You ever see a, an athlete with a small butt? No. You need the glutes, man. You need the glutes plus it's part of your core. Okay. Here we go. One leg of deadlift. One. Two. Three. Four, five, other side. Here we go. One, two, the other legs are getting tight. Three, four, five, good. Now let's sit, kayaks. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Half Turkish get up with the ball if you want. Hold the ball, watch the ball. One, two, three, four, five. Good, on this side. Watch the ball. One, two, three, four. Good, toe touch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, best one, 10. Possibly equals what? 
muscle. Take a break. Grab a drink. Okay. What did you accomplish this week? How many workouts did you get in this week? How much didn't you eat crap this week? Write it down. Write it down. Think it, ink it. Think it, ink it. You got to do it. I've been working out for over 35, oh, actually over 42 years. I started when I was 14. All right, 43 years. So I trained in martial arts at, at, at 13. Okay. There is no off season. Do I take a day off here and there? Yeah. Okay. And if it hurts, guess what? Don't do it. That's up to you. And you know, sometimes you can just go through the motions and that's enough. The fact that you showed up is 90% of it. The rest of it's all judgment, man. All judgment. We'll get it that way. We're getting there. We're getting there, right? We're almost done. So now we're back to our bricks, right? We're back to our bricks. So let's kick it up a notch, shall we? Let's just kick it up a notch. Now let's set up uppercuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. This one is not for the faint heart. Be careful, you don't break your bricks. I've done it once before. Alligator walk. One, two, three, four, five. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, see that? I'll really shift it. And I, I don't know. Maybe I did read it. Okay. This one's going to be tougher. Rotational push up. One, two. Now you're doing 10 of these. Three. One. Okay, we got one more to go. One more to go. Why don't we bent over rows? This time alternating on, on one leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm getting a workout in two. And then I'm gonna hit, I already did Eagle Warrior Primal Reset Mechanics before this, and I'm going to yoga for an hour and 15 minutes right after this. Why not? Double up. And you know what? If I don't push myself in yoga, who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter? No, doesn't matter. Okay, we just did our bricks. We're gonna go back to bands now, right? Back to bands. Here we go. Here comes the blowout section. Here comes the blowout section. All right. As we're gonna do a four by four, four by four. So this time, four concentrated drills. Band rows, thumbs up. Band rows, thumbs down. Smack down, straight down. Smack down, side to side. All right. Here we go. Let me move you closer. There we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, keep going. Six, seven. You got it. Eight, nine, ten. Turn them over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Last one, best one. Ten. Here we go. Smackdowns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, best one. Smackdown side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Be relentless. Walk that off, as Mark Delagrati would say. Walk that off. Bands are indispensable. These bands have been all over the world. Okinawa, England, Ireland, you name it. They fit right in your bag. I can fit my ladder, my bands, and my air fit in my luggage all the time. If I don't want all that, my bands. Well, my bands are my ladder. Simple. Simple, 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 simple. Easy. Think outside of the box. Don't think complicated. If you can fit a pair of pants, this takes up a shirt. Come on, throw it in there. If it's in there, you'll use it. It's kind of like having shit food in the house. If there's crap in the house, you're gonna eat it. Don't put crap in the house. You know, somebody asked Wayne Dye one time, how do I stop my sugar addiction? And she's eating Skittles. He took her Skittles and threw them in the trash. If you don't have it, you ain't gonna eat it. Okay, so let's hit the, let's tag on the upper body. We're on push, we just did, we did pull and level change at the same time, and rotation, hitting all the planes and the cannons. Okay, now we're gonna do something funky. Lunge and chest spread side to side. One, two, so lunging side to side. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now chest flies on one leg. Sorry, the bricks are in the way. Chest flies on one leg. Why not? Balance the man. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now why not push-ups? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Pat yourself in the back. You're doing it. Good work. Excellent. Doing something is better than doing nothing, right? Some is better than none. You're not out of shape, you're in a different shape than you want to be in. Remember that. You're not out of shape, you're in a different shape than you want to be in. There you go. You've been going for almost 45 minutes now. Almost 45 minutes. We're almost at the cool down phase. We're just about there. Just about there, okay? Stick with me, okay? Stick with me. Just breathe and relax. <laughs> and sneeze. Why not? And sneeze. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to do a combo. We're going to do four exercises. A med ball, a brick, a band. Okay? Med ball, brick, and band. Okay? All right. Your first med ball, okay? Diagonal chops. One. Two. Yeah, I never get tired of training the core. Three. Four. Five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Pick up your brick. This is old school kung fu. All right, isometric squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, you can do it. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Put that down. Band draw, band draw. Here we go. On the ground. Elbows in the guard. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three, four. Ah, good. Get back up. Ground and pound. Ground and pound. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Four by four. That's. Check the time. That's. Let me see. Almost 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Time for your cool down. Time for your cool down. Of course, we gotta throw in some abdominal work. Okay. Don't tell me you can't work out. Make time, not excuses. Make time, not excuses. Grab your mat. I don't feel like doing laundry again. You have a mat, great. If you don't, it's okay. Grab your mat. Okay. A little core work, a little flexibility, and you're done. So remember, 
download my app. It's free. The community page is free. My articles are up there, the whole bit. You can see my other videos. If you buy a premium membership, all my, all my videos from the MMA days, all the stuff that built this company, Burma Crin's company, it's all up there, all up there. All our content's up there. But for a friend, it's stay tuned for our Burma Crin's 90-day challenge coming right after Thanksgiving. 90-day challenge, okay? You're going to get a med ball, a band, and a ladder. A package deal. How do you like that? Check that out. Watch that. That community, our average weight loss on our 90-day challenge has been 16 pounds. 16 pounds, and I've got data on that. Data. Okay, here we go. Let's bang out some bicycles, okay? My bicycles, yoga bicycles. One. Two. Three, four, five, 18, 61, count doesn't matter, 65, 107, 112, 4,492, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9. Nine, 27, 28, count in the matter, 25, 62, hut, hut, 75, 77, 78, 76, now 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 7, 8, 9, rest. Stretch that out. Come right up in the boat pose. Hold those legs up. You can do this. You can do it. Go someplace else. Low boat. High boat. Low boat. High boat. Low rest. Excellent. Hang your arms over your head. Okay, from Eagle Warrior Reset, everybody's gonna do their neck. 20 neck ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Big stretch. Cross your right angle over your left knee. Rotate to one side. Hold that stretch organically. Don't force. Switch sides. Good. Roll sit up. I don't need any ants on me. All right. Incline stretch, butterfly, whatever you want to call it. I love people that want to train for three hours and then don't stretch. Easiest way to get an injury. I don't think these sneakers are loud enough, do you? No, didn't think so. Cross it over, hug the legs in. Good, switch sides. Don't force the stretch. Hug it over. You will be sore tomorrow. Best thing to do is do some light exercise. Break up the lactic acid. This is an old school Qigong stretch. 
press it up. Push out those pecs, the hips. Push it up, not to mention, open the heart. Let's stand up. Now you know why Turkish get-ups are so important. Good. Okay, figure four. Cross it over. Sit. At least 20 seconds. Other side. The hips are very important to loosen up. Pad your knee if you need to. Lean forward. Stretch out that hip flexor. On the side. You want to get a little more stretch, reach up and over. Child's pose. Walk it to the right, push into that left hip. Walk it to the left. Stretch out that rib cage. Turn your wrist around, you'll hate me for this, but open those channels. All the way up. Now, just hang on your thighs. Rotate side to side if you want. Grab your toes, pull up. Switch your lats and your hamstrings out. Cross right over left. Reach to your left side. Hamstring, glute, kind of everything. Side. X. You hate me for this toe pose. Sit back in your toes. Stretch the bottom of your feet so Yeah, it's gonna suck. You gotta open those feet up. Pack mind a stretch, grab your hands, open that chest and heart up. As the yogis would say, the back part of your heart. Good. All right. Last thing, some deep breathing. All right, open lotus. Breathe in in two, breathe out in six. Breathe in in two, out in six. Breathe in in two, out in six. Breathe in in two, out in six. Hold your hands right in front of you like there's a bowl of light. Close your eyes, just breathe. Excellent, good job. Pat yourself on the back, be relentless and remember, and thank you very much. So what do cup, cup, boom, cup, cup, boom, cup means thank you very much in Thai. I will see you Monday morning, Monday morning, okay? Monday morning classes, Monday all day classes with me are free. Check it out, the app's free, download it, spread the word. The person that spreads the word the most, they get in a tank top, right? And a pair of Burma Crunch Focus, spread the word, boost. Be relentless.